important to talk about. On February 12th, an openly gay 15-year-old boy named Larry, who was an 8th grader in Oxnard, California, was murdered by a fellow 8th grader named Brandon. Larry was killed because he was gay. A young British man has been convicted of manslaughter after killing a gay teen by setting him on fire. Three and a half years for killing someone. Different. I look at this school, so many memories, so much I will never forget. I'm sure the ones that did a number on me back then barely even remember. There is still that screaming, tormented, lonely kid inside me that wants to burn this whole place down. And I would do it, not just for myself, but for anyone in a similar situation like mine, who grew up broken and confused, their only connection with their peers being they all enjoyed tormenting them for their amusement. And says a fellow student beat him bloody while eight others stood around and watched, all because he's gay. Phone video that was posted to Facebook. It was posted of another student ambushing her son in the classroom. Fuck his ass, nigga. Uh, nigga. Uh, nigga. Uh, uh, fuck his ass. Uh, nigga. Fuck his ass. Hey. While teachers and parents are either unaware or worse, apathetic towards them. Yeah. And this policy offers your school a way to protect kids in a neutral, objective way without sexualizing and politicizing the issue in all of the classrooms. I hardly think that bullying is a real issue in schools. Considering making a change in the law to allow students to speak out against homosexuality, if that's what their religious beliefs call for. What parents need to be aware of is there are activist groups who want to promote homosexuality to kids because they realize if they can capture hearts and minds of our children at the earliest ages, they will have, for all practical purposes, won the clash of values that we are currently experiencing. 14-year-old Jamie Rotemeyer was part of a campaign to stop suicide among gay teenagers. But earlier this month, he was found dead outside his own home of an apparent suicide. All of a sudden, a Lady Gaga song came on, and they all started chanting for Jamie, all his friends and whatever. They, like, dedicate the song to him. And like a bunch of the students start cheering like, he's better off dead, he's better off dead. So they're bullying him from like beyond the grave. My daughter came home all upset. Elected to the school board in the Midland School District in Eastern Arkansas. In fact, he's the school district vice president. We think you should know his name as well. It's Clint McCants. Seriously, he wrote, they want me to wear purple because five queers committed suicide. The only way I'm wearing it is for them is if they all commit suicide. I can't believe the people of this world have gotten this stupid. You get the same old adage, boys will be boys. You know, how can I stop every kid from saying things that shouldn't be said? Students coming forward and saying that other students, including some of the bullies, wore nooses around their necks um, after they had learned of his death to school and got away with it. I hardly think that bullying is a real issue in schools. We all got the message in 1999 of Columbine. People should be reminded every year and recognize that people like that are made, not born. It doesn't matter where you live, you are expected to turn out a certain way, to act and live a certain way. Anything less than that is a deviation destined to bring you nothing but sorrow, grief, misery, and pain. For some, it's more that they can bear. Strapped a belt around his neck and hanged himself from the top shelf in his bedroom closet. Committed suicide in front of other students. He found his son, 13-year-old Devin, hanging in his closet, a belt around his neck. But drove South Hadley High School freshman Phoebe Prince to hang herself in January. College freshman in New Jersey jumped off this bridge, all related to bullying. Whose death has sparked a vast debate life. over gay bullying. Parents say bullying. unpunished bullying. Their so-called friends talk behind their back. They turn on them. Their families and even parents reject them, casting them out like trash from yesterday's garbage. They would take his things from him, spit in his food, call him gay, faggot. And they give you a name, trash can, pizza face, loser, faggot. I was, for lack of a better word, and still am, the school faggot. 
I would disown my kids. They were gay. They will not be welcome at my home or in my vicinity. I will absolutely run them off. A kid had a knife on school premises and said, I'm going to kill him. I want that faggot dead. Of course, my kids will know better. My kids will have a solid Christian beliefs. They had taken something from him. They had took his pride from him. And one day you wake up and, and you look in the mirror and you don't recognize you anymore because you believe them. Your life is worthless. Takes and a you toll start, on your yeah. You, you yeah. start to believe it. You yeah. do. They win, you lose. You don't have a name anymore because they took it away. In the end, they die with no hope, no relief in sight, just a broken body of broken dreams and possibilities of what could have been if only circumstances were more in their favor, if only people just accepted them. He didn't fit in at Santana High, and even his so-called friends bullied him unmercifully. Beat him up like you did Trevor that one day. <laughs> but people are slow to learn. Columbine may be the most recognized, but there are countless examples before and after these types of people we create through taught intolerance and bigotry of anything that is different lay their mark. Attack the buses with rocks and clubs. The buses were halted by the attack in a side street where the anti-gay youth continued the attack climbing inside the bus and punching and kicking the activists. We are told to be ourselves, but for many, being themselves will only bring them pain and misunderstanding, if not bigotry and self-hatred from the masses. They punch me in the jaw, they uh, strangle me, they knock things out of my hand, sit on me. I feel like I, I belong somewhere else. But no one cares about them. Not unless they create a tragedy or turn themselves into one. Jamie routinely blogged about his troubles. Just 11 days ago, he wrote something online. He said, I always say how bullied I am, but no one listens. What do I have to do so people will listen? Being different can be a blessing, leading you to look from the outside of society and not be another cog. But it's almost always a curse. There is no reward awaiting you after you die. To me, the only consolation I see is to be loud, exposed, and honest with the world around me. No more compromises, no more sitting quietly, no more will I be content simply sitting around and consuming what this culture tells me is substance. I want to express my own voice, my own ideas, my own experiences. Why? Because I know they are conflicting with the majority they accept. What can these fucking people do to me that they haven't done already? This school, my entire life growing up in this city, was like a slow suicide to me. At one point, all I should have been, could have been, died here, throwing me in an agony of miserable denial and self-doubt, empty of reason and full of nothing but religion. It was years later before I finally could let go and start a journey to fully realize who I am. I still think I'm on that journey at this very moment, and that journey of my life continues on. It pisses me off, though, that we make special Purple Fag Day for them. I like that fags can't procreate. I also enjoy the fact that they often give each other AIDS and die. Mr. McCants apparently doesn't know or doesn't care to use the names of the five dead kids he's attacking and mocking. He simply calls them queers, fags. And then the bullies that put him into this situation started chanting, you're better off dead, we're glad you're dead. And Tim, what explains this in your mind, this hate towards your son? I, I, I can't grasp it in my mind. I don't know why anyone would do that. It's just, they have no heart. These are not queers or fags, as Mr. McCants calls them. They are people, they are human beings, they are our fellow citizens. I hardly think that bullying is a real issue in schools.